So in today's YouTube video, we're going to be taking a look at the top best assault rifles to use right now in Season 4. I got some highly picked assault rifles. If you guys don't see any assault rifles you guys want to see in today's video, leave it down in the comment section below, and let's hop right into the setup for them. So the first gun we're going to be talking about is the NZ-41. This is actually the most highly picked assault rifle that everybody's using in all three maps, no matter if it's Rebirth, Caldera, and even Fortune Keep. Now, for the muzzle 100%, we recommend is using the MX Silencer, which actually is the best muzzle for any of the Vanguard assault rifles. Now, coming down to the barrel now it's going to be a little bit of a difference now because 100 percent people was recommending was using was the burst barrel which was actually was doing a lot more damage than the third barrel but they actually did nerf the burst one so i will 100 now recommend is using is 360 millimeter bc barrel which is actually by far as one of the best barrels for the nz now the optic is really just up to you guys but i would of course would recommend if you are like a caldera player sim really do rock as the svt scope or if you guys actually want to play as fortune keep this is kind of like a best scope but i would kind of would just recommend using is the g16 it's all just a preference on what type of optic you guys would like to run but for me i like the rockets the g16 now for the stock 100 percent we're recommended using is going to be is the e pack stock which is actually just help us with your recoil control your recoil recovery your accuracy and your flinch resistance while taking shots but it actually does matter about of which type of stock you guys would like to run but for me i feel like it actually does have a with a lot of the recoil control it's going to be it's your e pack stock now for the perk category it's up to you guys but for me i like the rockets of course it's just a brace now perk 2 100 percent for any of the vanguard and sorry foods you must got a rockets fully loaded since it's always kind of like the best perk for any of these guns when you always get your loadout off the rip you guys just want to max capacity for your ammunition rear grip 100 percent would recommend is using for is going to be a your stiff but grip it used to be the polymeric grip but the actually did nerf is the flinch resistant that she came down to them so the stiff grip is going to be is the best one now magazine would recommend is using is the 50 round mag it's really no difference between using is the 40 round and the 30 round but the 50 round just makes it a, just a little bit more better since you are getting a little bit more ammunition in your in your gun Ammunition is going to be is going to I would probably recommend it's going to be your lethal perk since it actually does help us with your bullet velocity. Which is actually one of the best things about the Vanguard Star for since most of them have is like terrible bullet velocity, especially the tracking for them. Now under barrel, it's up to you guys. But for me, I think for air, all the Vanguard Star for you must got a rocket the hand stop, which actually does help us with your vertical and your horizontal recoil control. Coming to the next gun, we're going to be talking about is the Cooper Carbine since they actually did nerf the Cooper. I've been seeing a lot of people been rocking this gun lately. Now, for the muzzle, 100% is still going to be it's your MX Silencer. The barrel is a little bit going to be kind of different, but I've been seeing a lot of people been rocking it's the Corpus, the Cooper Custom, or you guys think you can rock it's the Rag Doll, but you always got to worry about the pros and cons. But I still think the Cooper Custom is going to be the best one for the Cooper. Since legit, you just still need to worry about it just that's that bullet velocity. And of course, that she does help out is with your plus your damage range and your highly accuracy control and actually does help with your plus fire rate optic is still up to you on which one you guys would recommend for any of your assault rifles coming down to the stock it's all up to you guys but for me i just like the rockets of course it's going to be your cooper 45w which actually does help us with your accuracy during sustained fire and actually does give you a bunch of recoil control while mounted crouched or even prone it's just all about your play style of which you guys would rather use but like I said, just come through the stocks, just check out which one you guys would recommend. But for me, I'm just going to tell you guys, man, the Cooper 45 stock just sounds like it's going to be the best for me. Now, coming down to the perk one category, I would still actually recommend it's going to be it's your tight grip, your hard, your hard scope, or going to be it's your brace. Now, it used to be before on the Cooper, you guys actually rock this course, it's your vital perk. It's really no point as of right now, so I would just actually recommend this course going to be it's your tight grip. Whilst... Uh, having accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. Of course, for the Perk 2 category, it's still going to be your fully loaded. Rear grip is still going to be your simple grip. Magazine, now, it's still going to be your 60 round magazine because none of the other magazine does make it a little bit of a difference. But the thing about it is, I still think the, about the Cooper is, it kind of have as like a least damage, but it sometimes just have like a buff damage and it's kind of have like a least damage comes down to it but the cooper still looks like a good gun depending on how you actually just want to rock it and especially with this magazine being like the plus fire rate everybody knows that the plus fire rate on any of the magazine 
always does take a little bit to damage down. So it's just all it's all your preference on how you guys want to rock the Cooper. And of course, with the underbarrel still gonna be is your hand stop that should give it that horizontal and your plus vehicle control. Coming down to the third gun we're gonna have is the M4A1. Everybody loves the M4, no matter what season it is. Even though the M4 doesn't really get talked about a lot, I still just gotta throw it into the mix since it's actually still one of the best assault rifles from the modern warfare category. Coming down to the muscle, you guys should actually be rocking the monolith fixed suppressor, which actually does help us with your damage range. Now, coming down to the barrel, it's still gonna be debatable of the which one of the best barrel, which you guys should actually recommend. But for me, I'm just gonna tell you guys about I think the Grenadier barrel is gonna be is your best option. I feel like the Grenadier barrel does a lot of it, does a lot more damage than the course, uh, which a lot of people actually recommend is the Corvus Custom, but it doesn't seem like the Corvus Custom does a lot of does a lot of hitting. It just feels like it just hits a lot of peas and I, and I understand you guys are probably gonna say with well, the m1 doesn't hit like that but it kind of does it all depends on how you land your shots with your accuracy and especially how far away you are so i would actually recommend it's the grenadier stock which actually does help out a which i'm just saying man like the grenadier stock helps out a lot when it comes down to the m4a1 now i think it's up to you guys but for me i feel like the vlk and of course going to be it's your combat hollow sight will be the best optic for any of the modern warfare guns you are kind of limiting yourself on which optic you guys actually recommend the best and especially which i would tell a lot of people because i get a lot of comments on like or what's the reticle like it all depends on what type of reticle you guys will rock for any of your modern warfare guns so yeah you guys can see, can see better now for the vlk the t post is by far is going to be the best reticle and of course if you guys want to rock is your probably is your combat hollow site you guys actually would recommend is using it's the blue dot but it's all about or if you guys want to play plunder or modern warfare multiplayer to complete those challenges in order to get those um challenges unlocked so the optic is just up to you guys man so Coming out to the magazine itself, I would actually recommend us using this the 60 or 50 round. It really all depends up to you guys on what type of game you guys are playing. So if you guys are playing like trails, quads, man, I would recommend it's the 60. But if you are playing it's like solo duos, probably the 50 round or even just using a basic round 30. It all just depends if you guys just want a little bit of more of an ADS speed and plus movement speed. So it's just all of a preference. And of course, for the best underbarrel for the Modern Warfare guns, it's going to be your Commander Foregrip for your recoil stabilization and your aim and stability. So the next gun we're going to be talking about is the STG. Now, even though it actually did receive was a nice little nerf to the gun, the STG is still going to be a Holly Pick of food, even though the NZ is still going to be taking over Warzone. And I'm a little bit kind of curious on when the NZ SC does get nerfed, what is going to be the next Asari for meta? I don't know if the STG is going to come back into the meta scene. We just don't know. But of course, with the muzzle, you guys got to rock that MX silencer. Of course, with the barrel, it's still going to be it's your 760 millimeter barrel, which it still does help out a lot. Even though I think they did kind of nerf with just the recoil for the STG, it just still kind of does hit like a tank. And I still and I got a video for you guys, man, on my updated STG class. But I'm gonna just give you guys of a little bit kind of early for you guys so optic is still just up to you guys on which prefer optic you guys want to rock but for me i just still think the g16 is still going to be the best option for the stg coming down to the stock it's just up to you guys but for me as of right now i actually kind of switched to the tactical stock because i do kind of feel like that the weight stock probably even after the nerf it will probably be the best one for the stg if you guys don't really don't care about your aim and walk and movement speed and all just care about your short recoil control for the gun probably still use the weighted side but if you guys don't care about that and you guys just want to just move around straight just have a little bit more movement while aiming down sight while challenging someone i would probably rock as a tactical now coming down to the perk one category is still going to be is probably your nerve of steel you guys can actually can rock vital but i don't think the vital perk is still going to be worth it though i just think the nerve of steel while taking injury will actually increase your accuracy and your recoil while taking damage so please really do rock as the nerve of steel a lot of people might say well why don't you should we use um focus it's really no point of using focus because the focus perk doesn't really help out a lot i don't notice the difference with the focus perk instead of the nerve of steel coming out to the perk 2 category is still going to be it's your fully loaded rear grip is still going to be it's your step of grip the mag Magazine now is going to be a little bit of a difference now. Now, before everybody was just rocking with the Grand Girl 40 Bound Mal Max, I actually tried it out. I didn't really like the Grand Girl. I just felt like that it just hit, got a lot of hit markers. It felt like a lot of hit markers. It did feel like that it was somewhat of a slight recoil reduction to it, which you are going to have to lead your shots for. It. But I would probably actually recommend now it's going to be it's the 45 Round Magazine. And I'm going to tell you guys why, man. Now, if you guys can actually lead your shots with the 45 Round Mag, it does a lot of jumping. But it all depends on how you hit your shots. And I'm telling you guys why, because I feel like a lot of you guys 
don't know how to control the recoil for a lot of these guns. So I'm telling you guys, if you want to like, if you want your SCG to feel like it's brand new and feel like it actually can delete fast, I'm telling you, man, really do rockets to 45 round mag, but you gotta practice that recoil control when it comes down to the gun. Under barrel is still gonna be is your hand stop that actually does help us with your horizontal and your vertical recoil control, and for the ammunition, it's still gonna be is your lengthened ammunition the next gun we're going to be talking about is the xm4 now i actually don't really see anybody use the xm4 but i kind of actually could see it getting used once again when rebirth actually does come back which rebirth come back in like a couple of days so it's going to be kind of crazy on how this actually does get used now coming up for the muscle it's still going to be it's your agency suppressor which actually does the best for any of the cold war sorry folks now the barrel it's all up the preference for you guys on which one you guys think that does go for the long range but i still just think the task force bro is still going to be the best option for the xm4 i just feel like the task force does a lot more damage have a best recoil over control for it it just feel like the task force is the best one for the xm4 a lot coming out to the optic it's up to you guys but for me i feel like the best optic scope and everybody can say this as well it's going to be your arm three times scope i feel like it's going to be the best one for the xm4 and especially for for the other any of the other cold war guns i feel like the arms time scope is going to be the best one for you guys magazine is up to you guys but for me i would actually preferably use it's the 45 round magazine which you aren't taking away your adsb but if you are going to be playing like the bigger game most like quads trios like a 45 round mag is kind of decent for that but i would actually recommend it's using it's the standard 60. And the reason why i say that is because the standard 60 does give you a lot more bullets but it actually kind of does deplete your, um, your ADS speed. But if you guys don't care about your ADS speed, of course, just use the 60 round magazine. But if you guys just get into like tough situation, where you guys need the ADS speed mad quick, people running up on you, you might want to just run rockets at 45 round magazine. It's kind of like the best one for like solo and duels and probably trios. But for quad situation where all like four people stacking you and you guys don't have enough ammunition to put them down, I'm telling you guys, man, just, just don't rock it, man. So it's just up to you guys on which ammunition you guys would rather rock. And of course, for the underbarrel, we got the field agent grip. We actually just help out with your horizontal and your vertical vehicle control. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the last gun we're going to be talking about is the Kilo 141. This is by far like one of the second best modern warfare guns that i got you guys in a category now the reason why i'm gonna put the kilo in here is because i kind of do feel like the kilo as he received was above i don't know someone on the when i was playing with it the other day on fortune keep i feel like the fortune keep map especially with the kilo it felt like it was just buff it felt like it was just kind of buff it felt like it was just kind of like one of the best uh, sorry because i kind of just using a cool little miss so it might have received like a little secret buff i got a nice little gameplay for you guys coming up on the channel if you guys want to see any of the gameplays that got you guys with any of these updated class up like the scg and especially coming down to the um the kilo you guys might want to hit that subscribe button to the channel i'm telling you i it's like kind of crazy on fortune key that the kilo still kind of does melt and it kind of i'm telling you it might have received like a nice little secret little buff to it so even though i might have just kind of broke down like everything that just happened like throughout like some of the similarity videos i'm going to be coming up for you guys man this is going to be the best kilo for it i'm just going to tell you guys so that's really just mostly it but if you guys did enjoy today's video really do drop a like hit the subscribe as a brand new comment down below of some ars you guys want to see in the next top five loadout if you guys want me to do an smg loadout really do get this video to 100 likes i'm really just kind of curious if you guys want an smg loadout just for me to give you guys the updated best smgs at the current update in season four but as always enjoy the rest of you guys day